Okay. So what we want to do then to leak check is we want to check the T that's up there that's coming down from the line from our tank valve there and then splits off splits off to the front and then splits off to the one-way check valve right here where our fill port is. So it's not a bad idea to sniff that right there. So, well, you don't have to go that high on that one because it's behind the check valve. So, so check this check valve there. Okay, no leaks there. Uh, can you see where the vent line comes down? That's going to be the vent see line this right tube there, right, right here? Yeah. Now there's there's one little issue with that vent line, and we haven't gotten into this in the NFPA 52, but notice how that line just ends. You're supposed to have a lid or a cap on the end of that line. Just a regular rubber cap. Just like cap. a little rubber cap. And the reason for that is so that we don't get any water up there or dirt or spiders or, you know, small children, um, cats and dogs. I think it's living together. Anything that might climb up in there and um, cause a problem. Now, if that pressure relief device does rupture and it does vent the pressure out through that line it's going to blow anything that's in there out and so we're not necessarily worried about you know blocking the discharge of gas what we're worried about is moisture in particular and other things getting all the way up against the prd and damaging the prd so anyway we probably need to find a cap for that i'm sure we've got one around here somewhere so let's follow this line paying special attention to any valves or anything that might be there. You can see it goes over along the, the top of the frame, over the wheel. Under there. We're probably never going to find, or not very likely to find a leak in the middle of the line, but, you know, it doesn't hurt to check. And this is eventually going to go all the way up to our valve. Now pay close attention to that valve because when we had to replace that valve last year, we definitely had some issues with the fittings leaking but there doesn't seem to be any leaks on there now. And that's just about the last place until we get up here to where the engine is on that line. It seems all good, doesn't it? I think probably what we ought to do is shut the engine off and then maybe check again with the with the spray just to be thorough. How does it, how does it look? I'm not seeing anything, Tracy. Okay. When we, we checked this one a year ago. That one didn't. It was a drip. Yeah. We checked this one after we we replaced that valve and. There was no leaks then, so I wouldn't imagine anything's developed since then. Let's go back to these fittings back here at the back. check valve there. Nothing. Okay. So all the all the fittings are secure. Good for breakfast. Not leaking. Yeah. 
Okay, well. Let's see if we can zoom in. We found a leak here with the fitting on our tank valve. So if you look at that flare nut, you can see bubbles bubbling up around the top of the flare that goes into that. It's actually coming out of that tank valve. Yeah, it's bubbling pretty good. Okay, so that could be, that's a problem, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, we need to tighten that up and see if that will make that leak quit. Put the wrench back on that. Side. 